Hello guys, welcome to MND Made Simple. I'm your host, Coach Alexander. I'm so glad that you've joined me today. I know I haven't been posting as I used to, but it's because I've been a lot busier than I was before. I must mention that I've missed all of you and I thought of posting an interesting topic today. It has to do with artificial intelligence in monitoring and evaluation. So how is this AI revolutionizing M&E? So I thought we could uh, discuss this briefly. But for those of you who are here for the first time, I would like to mention that my name is Coach Alexander. I've been an M&D expert for over 10 years now. I've enjoyed every single day of it. I have no regrets. I've helped quite a number of people. You may be amazed with the people I've helped and they've all said the same thing, that my coaching has helped them grow in monitoring and evaluation. So my appeal to you is if you want M&D coaching, please do not hesitate to write to me. Okay. So just briefly, I always do this in most of my presentations. What is M&E? So guys, monitoring and evaluation is a continuous process that takes place in every project or at least supposed to take place in every project. It begins with the planning and then you go for the monitoring and then the evaluation. So monitoring is continuous, you're tracking on activities, you're tracking on the outputs, but the evaluation is a detailed assessment of whether uh, the change that you had planned initially has actually been realized. So you discover that unlike, because you know the thing is M and E may seem as one word, but it has two components, it has the monitoring then it has the evaluation. So the monitoring is a continuous activity, but the evaluation is done at specific points in time. And it is at the evaluation stage, that is where you learn. That's where the actual learning comes in, to know whether you succeeded or whether you, you failed in certain areas of your target. So that's why you have m &D. So there in this image, you have the, the m and cycle, which are usually used to explain what monitoring and evaluation is. Okay, let's talk about artificial intelligence. Now, I want to make this very clear, guys. Where we are going, we are, we are going in uncharted territory because what is happening right now, everything is going artificial intelligence, everything. You can, you can, like if you are enrolled in a, as a student at a university doing an online course, you can actually ask uh, AI to write your assignment. That's how scary it is. And I want to show you a picture. Uh, do you know this man in front of you? I'm sure you do, but for those of you who don't know him, his name is Elon Musk. And you'll be, you'll be uh, surprised that actually he has uh, some South African descent. But this gentleman, you see, is a millionaire. I think he must be among the top five millionaires around the world. If, if not, he's the richest. He has developed, uh, if you go on the internet right now, especially Facebook, you're going to find out that this gentleman has developed what are called robo, robo cars. And also he's developed another uh, thing called uh, Optimus. Optimus is a robot. He, he, the Optimus robot you, you see standing right beside him in this picture is not the actual one. I wanted to get a picture, but I thought it's fine. You, you can look out for that on the internet yourself. So these things can actually do uh, certain activities on their own. And why are they able to do that? It's because of artificial intelligence. And guys, I'm telling you what is happening in today's world in terms of technology is not only exciting, but a little scary. We have reached a stage where dealing with AI is completely unavoidable. 
it's completely unavoidable. So this rich guy, Elon Musk, please take time to, to Google him and find out what he's doing, especially in America. And I'm sure this may actually spread to other parts of the world. It's quite amazing. So AI is a, a simulation of human intelligence in machines, okay? Yeah, for those of you who like watching movies, I'm sure you've watched uh, the sci-fi movies where you have a lot of these AI and you discover that you have these machines that can think better, act quicker than a human being. So that's basically what AI uh, systems are. So they help with uh, such things as learning, reasoning, and problem solving. So all these things, I just got this image so that you, you, you have a bit of some breakdown of what this artificial intelligence is able to do. If you've seen, in, in, there are certain tools that have actually come, come in and they're flooding the internet right now. This issue to do with uh, text to speech, where you type something and a voice will be produced out of what you've typed. That, my friend, is because of artificial intelligence. So this thing, guys, is really, I don't know what to say. It's interesting and a little scary, but this is what is happening. This is where the world is going to. Now, let's talk about why it is relevant for monitoring and evaluation. Now, the thing is, monitoring and evaluation, if you recall very well, I explained what it is and why it's important. Now, the issue is that we need to do things at a faster pace. Previously, the, the issue of delayed reporting has affected the way we make decisions. So if these reports are coming late to you, you, are not be able, you won't be able to make effective decisions on time. Now, what AI does is that it handles large amounts of data faster and more accurate than human beings. And because of that, we are able to generate reports that are accurate that depict the true picture and nature of a project. Remember, you know, on this channel, I've not really discussed about the recent projects that are taking place. And for obvious reasons, because I just felt that for beginners, you may want to first know the, the basics of monitoring and evaluation. However, I'm thinking of doing so. The thing is that the projects that are implemented around the world, big multi-million projects, involve a lot of data. So in most cases, you are going to find that because we are human, we tend to make mistakes, but AI never makes mistakes. And that's why even our decision-making is going to be very good because of the AI. Now, this issue of automation is another thing we need, to, we need to analyze. Why is it good to have things automated? I'm asking you this question because sometimes we just think automation, when someone asks you, why are we automating the process? The answers people give is, no, it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the advanced way to do things. You know, the thing is that it's not, it's not just advanced, advancing technology here. Automation makes things simple. It makes it easier. It reduces time. So for M&D professionals, we have a challenge because we need to do repetitive tasks Throughout the process, we are talking of data collection, analysis, reporting, 
decision making, corrective action, all these things are routine. And because they are repetitive, the more we do it, of course we get used to it, but the more we do it, the more tiring it becomes, the more mistakes we are going to be prone to make. So when you have this automation with AI, we the professionals will focus on higher level activities. And which are these higher level activities? Higher level activities involves decision making. Because ultimately when the data is collected, it's automated. So take for example, you can tell AI to do a survey for you. This, the AI artificial intelligence will send the survey to different people, they will answer the questionnaire, they will enter their statistics, it will do the analysis, it will report to you, and then all you do is report, read the report and make decisions based on the findings. You see how easier it becomes for us M&D professionals. So this is what I'm saying, guys. AI-powered tools can help with surveys. It's very interesting. It can help with the data collection. Now, the only downside to this, I know most of you are going to be kind of sad because with the coming in of artificial intelligence, it means there might be some job losses. But I, have, I want to challenge you today you don't need to lay lay out you don't need to lay off anybody actually because currently if you ask me currently most of these projects are understaffed because of uh, lack of resources so you don't need to lay lay off anybody because already the projects are already understaffed so when you have these AI powered tools, they're making the process easier. So when the data collection is done, the analysis will be done by the AI. And the reporting will be done by the AI. And once this report is given to you, all you are supposed to do is make a decision based on it. And actually, you know what happens these days? the artificial intelligence can actually give you proposed courses of action. So once the report is generated, it will propose to you and say, look, Mr. Coach Alexander, based on this report findings, the good course of action to take is this. Now you as the human being are the one that has the final say. You don't need to accept everything that the AI tells you to do. Just because it tells you to do something, you don't need to do it. Because these are, remember, they are robots. Eh? But the point is that it's making your life easier. Another issue is predictive analytics. So the issue is the AI based on data. Please underline this word, based on data. It's able to predict the future. Okay, now you might be thinking that this isn't happening in the M&D world, but think again, because our friends, the United Nations, the United Nations have already started using robots in their analysis. I'm going to leave a link below. You will be greeted with this page, which says Artificial Intelligence for Development Analytics. This is just a snapshot of what they are doing. But in actual sense, they are using AI at a more deeper level. I didn't want to uh, because I, I also want to mention that I use AI. So 
the AI was telling me that the UN actually uses this artificial intelligence in their data collection analysis reporting, basically in monitoring and evaluation. But I didn't want to immediately post that here because I need to verify that for myself. But what I did was put this image that shows you that indeed so they have that provision. Now, why are they doing this? It's efficiency. That's all it comes down to, guys. We want to do things quicker. We want to do things with less cost. It significantly reduces on time. It optimizes the use of resources. You will be amazed. They are using this artificial intelligence to even track the sustainable development goal indicators. So people, I want to mention that where we are today, and actually I have to mention this because it's kind of exciting, but a bit scary. You've heard me say that before. I want to start posting about this topic on this channel. And I really want to get a lot of interaction from you guys so that we get to understand what does this mean for the world and for monitoring and evaluation. Thank you so much. I've been your host, Coach Alexander. Please write to me in case you need any coaching and see you on the other side. Bye.